Hello, my name's Dan, we're here at the RI, and I'm gonna show you how to make a voltaic pile, the very first kind of working battery. And we're going to use this battery to bring these Halloween pumpkins to life. So I've got a spindle of wood that I'm gonna build everything onto. Uh, the really important parts though are these copper discs, some zinc discs, uh, and these limes which we've sliced up into discs as well. Now let's start down here at the base of this spindle. You can see there is already a piece of copper. This is our terminal of our battery. I'm gonna put on top of there one slice of lime and I'm gonna to top that with one zinc disc. This is the order that we're gonna keep going with. One of these units is a cell and two or more of these units together is a battery, what Volta and his friends called a pile. The copper at this end is the positive terminal and the zinc at this end is the negative terminal. What makes the voltaic pile so special is it was the first source of continuous electrical current. And scientists all over the world were trying to discover what they could do with this new source of electricity. Here at the Royal Institution, Humphrey Davy was using the battery in a process called electrolysis, where he could separate chemical compounds to discover what elements they were made of. This process enabled Davy to isolate seven elements. To finish off our voltaic pile, we go to our other terminal here, a piece of zinc which sits on the top and we've completed our voltaic pile. So you may not be able to see me very well, but we've come into the dark so we can see if our LEDs are working. I'm gonna plug a wire into the bottom and positive terminal of the battery. Uh, and I'm gonna clip that on to this side of our pumpkin friend. I'm gonna take a wire and I'm gonna plug it into the top or the negative end. And when I attach this to this side, fingers crossed, there we go, how about that? Now we're going to make a simplified version of the Voltec bar with stuff you might have around the house. So we've got uh, an LED that we're going to try and light up. We've got some wire. We've got some uh, lime juice in a bowl. Some little circles of cardboard that are soaking in the lime juice. And most importantly, we've got some coins, specifically post-1983 US pennies, because these are made with zinc and copper. I've already sanded down the copper from one side of these pennies to reveal the zinc. Uh, but we're leaving one penny intact with copper on both sides. This is going to act as the positive terminal of our battery, just like we had copper in the positive terminal of our voltaic pile. Okay, so to start off building our battery, we are going to take one of our sanded coins and put it copper side down. On top of that, we're going to put one of our soaked bit of cardboard uh, there, soaked in the juice of a lime. And then again, copper side down with the next coin. That's our first cell built there. And if you think back to our voltaic pile, each combination of zinc, a piece of lime, and a piece of copper was one cell each. So we're gonna keep going, gonna keep stacking up. A bit of cardboard, coin, copper side down. Cardboard, coin, copper side down. Our last piece of cardboard's going on. So instead of topping this off with a sanded coin, we're gonna put the intact penny on the top. That should be our battery. Okay, so we're gonna try and roll this up in tape. So I'm gonna pick the whole thing up in one go, put it on there and roll this up in plenty of tape to hold it all together. Pretty difficult to get it to stick because of all that lime juice. So I'm gonna go around a couple of times. Oh, pretty terrible job. There we go. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna roll that up finish off the tape. There is our battery. So now we need to see if it works. If you look closely at your LED, you should see that one leg is longer than the other. That's your positive terminal on the LED. So to make it easier for us to keep track of it, uh, I've got a black and red wire, so I'm going to attach the positive terminal to the red wire. So let's twist that on there. And then, of course, I'm going to attach the black wire to the negative terminal. Because of the way we've constructed our battery, there is now copper at both ends of the battery. But one of those coins is copper on both sides. And if you've managed to keep track of that, that's your positive terminal. So we're going to attach the red wire to that end. And that, of course, means the other end is where there is a zinc terminal on our cell, but we can only see the copper. Uh, but we're going to attach the negative wire, the black wire, to that end. Hey, look at that. If it doesn't work first time, you may have just lost track of the all copper coin. So just try swapping the wires around. You've probably got your terminals mixed up. You should find your LED lights up. 
and you've made your own battery. Why well, subscribe? This is why I didn't try to say the word subscribe. Subscribe. If you've liked this video, you can see more by subscribing to our channel. And if you want to support what the RI does, you can do that through Patreon. Otherwise, thanks for watching and happy Halloween.